Hey you guys, Courtney here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to me. If this is your first time with me, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really appreciate it. I know you did not have to. I know you didn't. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, tap subscribe, hit the ring and any bell. I will subscribe to you back, give you all the support that you give me. If you are not new to my channel, then hi, what's up? Hey everybody. So excited to be on tonight. Um, it's nighttime. I love doing nighttime videos. Nighttime videos are fun. And my hair guys it is so it's getting so thin anyways okay so this is going to be a basically like a bonus episode of my collection video and remember i told you guys i was going to do an add-on as far as like you can be well i figured this would be a perfect time to do my you can be video in between palette videos because i've been very slack on my collection videos so if you guys are interested in seeing my you can be video i did get some products for review and i also have some other palettes and things you guys may have already seen and may not have for an amazing price um yeah if you're interested in that you guys and the drill keep on watching i'll be right back <laughs> Okay, hey you guys, I'm testing out this foundation and I can't tell you what it is because I'll tell you what it is, it'll ruin the surprise. But, um, yeah, I was like, I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not sure if I like it. I don't know. But anyways, to get on with it, um, You Can Be is, is, has been one of my favorite dupe companies and just beauty on budget companies forever. Um, since before I started YouTube, um, you know, I, I just can't say enough about You Can Be. I've always talked about them. I always talk about how amazing the products are. And that's because they are. They really are. So, um, the owner, CEO of You Can Be is actually a friend of mine on Instagram. Um, he's been watching my YouTube videos and um, sent me a message and asked me if I wanted to get a package um, with a couple of things in it to review. And I was like, of course. That's another reason why, you know, I had a list of you know, places that I would, you know, my top three brands that I would do PR from if I had to choose. Um, and You Can Be was one of the top three. And I think I even mentioned that in one of my um, my tag videos from a long time ago. I'm super, super thankful. So thank you, You Can Be are awesome. So first, let me just say this. You Can Be dupes. They do, they straight up dupe. They dupe, but you know, there's just been some amazing dupes. And then they also have their own thing, okay? So, for example, they have highlight, they have mascara, they have eyeliner, they have blush, they have like three different types of highlighter palettes, they have loose highlighter, they have foundation, they have so many things. So I'll put the website name down here, you guys have to go and just check out the different things that they have, but I will leave the links for all these items that I'm going to show you today down there I buy from Amazon either way it doesn't matter because the seller on Amazon as long as it's under you can be it does support you can be so that's no problem at all like on Amazon like you'll have one palette that is um, you know for example modern renaissance dupe which we'll talk about that modern renaissance dupe there's so many of them but the quality the quality of these shadows are way different there is I mean, really, other than Bad Habit, Bad Habit and You Can Be, favorite, favorite, favorite all-time dupe places, dupe companies, and the fact that they do have their own stuff, like a Pretty Poison, and you know, like, as far as Bad Habit, it's Pretty Poison, and then you got um, You Can Be with Dreamland, you know, I mean, they have their own stuff too, so it's not, you know, anyways, let me just roll on with this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to say is... They have um, the Mono Renaissance dupe, and it is gorgeous. It is called Emancipation. It has this beautiful, beautiful, um, like, this is like raised and like paisley-ish print on here. And you can see it. It's just gorgeous. And this is the You Can Be logo, if you didn't know. It's this pretty little princess-looking lady in a dress turned sideways, and you can see the dress. This is, like I said, this is Emancipation number one, and so there is a number two, and the Emancipation number two is actually an Anastasia Beverly Hills dupe as well, and it is for the Subculture palette. I do not have that one either. It's pretty spot on. It's pretty spot on with ABH Modern Renaissance, and I happen to have my Modern Renaissance right here beside me. So here we go. Here's our palettes. The bottom one is going to be our Anastasia, and this one up here is the You Can Be. I mean, just gorgeous. So gorgeous. 
I'm really bad at doing this. <laughs> so um, on the back of each one of these, um, what I love about You Can Be is that they have an expiration date. They have an expiration date, it's right here. And they also have the born, you know, the shelf life on here. So this palette once opened, which I opened it today <laughs> because it did come packaged. It came completely wrapped, sh like shrink wrapped. So, yeah. But once opened, it has a 12 month shelf life. So yes, so that's what it says. This is recyclable. Is I am going to, to do the swatches on this, but I'm not going to show you which palette I'm going to pull it out of. And we're going to play a game. We're gonna see if we can guess which swatch is from which palette. So, and I'm just gonna switch this up on you guys. It's not, it's gonna be super random and you guys are not gonna have any clue what I am doing down here. So I think this will be really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna, so I told you guys before, you can be, they do shade names on some of their palettes, but not all of their palettes. This particular one does not have shade names. So I'm gonna go as, you know, as far as the shade names, just to compare, from the Modern Renaissance palette. So let's do some little swatches on the arm here with um, Love Letter. Now that is a beautiful color. I mean, no matter which way you slice it, it is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so let's guess. Which one is which? I'm gonna have to move my bracelets. I'm gonna take this one off. Which one is which? Which one is which? Okay, so this is the ABH up here and this is the You Can Be. But you guys look. I mean, you know, it's and I went in on ham with the with the with the ABH. So let me let me blend that out just a little bit. Um next I'm going to swatch one of my other favorite colors in the Modern Renaissance palette, but I'm going to swatch it. And you guys will have to guess which one is which. And that color is Bon Fresco. Are our two Bond Fresco shades? So, which one do you think is you can be? Which one is ABH? This is going to be our ABH here, and this is you can be. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. so Anastasia is on the bottom. So, I mean, it's just it's just a really good formula, a really good palette, and I'm going to throw some shimmers up here. I'm not going to do the comparison swatches, but I'm going to throw some shimmers in. Isn't that pretty? And then um, another one I will do is the Antique Bronze. I know that that is a very popular one. I'll put this up here, and this is in the, this is the You Can Be palette. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. And this, this palette's just gorgeous. I can't say anything else about it, it's just gorgeous. So if you guys, you know, I can't, if you don't have Mono Renaissance, and even if you do, um, if you run low on your, you know, if you hit pan on Love Letter or if you hit pan on your, your Tempera or Tempera or your Golden Ogre or your Sim Cypress Summer, it's youcanbemakeup.com. Yes, youcanbemakeup.com. And that will give you, um, you know, some more of the options as far as what they have. And then, so this is just how I do it. After I see what they have or if I see something that I like, I go on Amazon and I'm like, let me just look and see if they have this. So that's basically how I get my You Can Be products because I like looking at their website. Their website's actually amazing. They have some beautiful things on there. Okay, so the next thing that they sent me is something so beautiful and this was brand new. I just opened it today as well. And this is the Belonging Palette by You Can Be. Look at how beautiful this packaging is. This is the most beautiful mountain in the background with the sunset. Oh my gosh, the silver writing, oh, it's just gorgeous. And on the inside, which this has the um, the date on the back, it has um, uh, cruelty, this, this stuff's cruelty free. I don't know if I told you guys that, it's cruelty free. This also has a 12 month shelf life. Um, it says on the back of this palette, because this is a dupe of the Urban Decay Born to Run. That's what this is. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run. It says, for the adventurer, the road warrior, the weekend escapist, no matter where you are going or what you're getting up to, belonging is the only palette you need for the pack. And I, 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 
I partially agree with that. <laughs> um, from matte to neutral to jewel to metallic or completely smoked out, we've got you covered with the options for endless looks. Most of, of, of UKMB's palettes, they do have um, mica and they do have talc and they do have um, mineral, mineral oil. So if those are things that you are, um, you know, sensitive to, then these might be not be a good option for you. So just keep that in mind. You know, I'm always going to be honest with you guys and tell you guys that just for your, your safety and your health. I have used the, I don't have the Urban Decay palette to compare it to, but I have used the Urban Decay palette before. And when I used it, it was when I did a palette swap with my friend Cynia. I will try to link it up here at the top. If I remember, um, I'll try to, I'll try to put it up there. If not, I'll put it in the description box. As far as the Born to Run palette goes, I'm glad that I did not buy it. Let's put it that way. And when I saw this, and I saw that they did have a dupe, and you can be came out with a dupe for it, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to play around with it some more now and not spend $65 for it and spend $11 for it. You know, I bought this palette, but I ended up not using it and I ended up giving it away to a friend, um, my friend that lives around here um, ended up giving it away to her for Christmas because she wanted the uh, Born to Run palette so bad and I couldn't afford that. <laughs> so this is what the palette looks like on the inside. This one does have a mirror and I am so impressed by the quality of this. Of this. It has a sheet, very sleek packaging and it's, it does not feel, this stuff does not feel cheap you guys, it doesn't. But this is the palette. Did dig into these colors to swatch so you guys know I'm going to have to swatch those again. But it is so gorgeous. I'm gonna show you guys close up. This, this, these do have shade names. So, yes, they do. And the shade names are pretty cool. I like it because it does have a good mixture of warm tones and cool tones. But the thing, one thing I didn't like about the Born to Run palette is that it has so many shimmers in it. So many, um, you know, shimmers, metallics, you know, what, what have you. Um, so I found myself looking for, for looks. In, in I guess all the wrong places I don't know <laughs> so, of course I am going to this this whole section here this little T section here it just amuses me it, it pleases me um, I do want to swatch this peach I want to swatch um, this this blaze color here I want to swatch this one so I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm swatching so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this um, radio it's called radio and it's this dark deep um, like it's almost like a deep slate shimmer. I wouldn't say it's navy, but I'd say it's like a slate shimmer. Ooh, well bust my buttons. I guess it is a navy. That's gorgeous. My gosh. It's more of like a like a deep aqua shimmer right here. You see it where the light's not so funny. Um it's called Big Sky and it is gorgeous. I love it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, next to that is this beautiful like hunter green. Love this color on the eyes, especially in the fall. See, this is a good, I think this is a good fall palette for sure. But you guys, oh, look at that. Look at that. How do they do it? How do they do it? That's what I know. How do they do it? Okay, now I am going to go into the like purple color. It's called Guilt Trip. It is this one right here. Oh, it is just calling my name. Let's see, swatch, swatch, swatch me, swatch me. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, it is. Look at that. That's almost got like a, a shift to it. Is that got a shift on it? It's almost shifty, not really. It's like a silvery purple. It's really beautiful. Um, and now I will go into some of the more warm colors. And you got, like I said, most of this is is it is shimmer. We are going to get into some of the warmer tones. So um, I'm going to do. Let's see. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple of the mattes. Um, I do want to do the peach color. That's called Still Shot. Because they're so creamy and smooth. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. Now that would be pretty. It's like a it's like a coral. It's a very pretty coral. Actually, the red color is called Hellride. This looks a lot like the love letter color in um in the the other palette. The nostalgia palette. It's a little bit warmer. But oh, that's gorgeous. 
Ooh. I know a lot of people who love that. And I think it's pretty too. I mean, it's just like orange is kind of not, not up my alley. <laughs> this is up my alley. Ooh. Now that is a black shimmer. That's gorgeous. I bet you if you built that up, oh, under the waterline. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. The shimmer, shimmery black. Ooh, oh my gosh. You guys, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, anyways, this is just a beautiful palette and I cannot wait to actually do a look with this. For today, I really just wanted to show off these beautiful colors. I wanted to show off these palettes because this is an extension of my collection videos. You, for $11, you know, who can, who can, who can beat this? How beautiful is that? Look at that. If you, if you do not have the Born to Run, or even if you do, like I said, same thing with that. This one, the other Emancipation palette. Did I call it Anticipation? I did not mean to if I did. It's Emancipation 1, Emancipation 2, um, Belonging. Okay, sorry. I had to cut the video because let me tell you guys why. It took me like probably 40 minutes to find the next palette I want to show you guys. Um, I was like, oh, panicking. Look, I got hots. Got hots. I still have my swatches on there. Okay, so the palette that I, it took me so long to find um, is actually a very strange looking palette, but it's very cool. It's called The Mask. And, and now the rest of the palettes I'm going to show you are palettes that I have gotten on my own. Um, and this is the 18 color eyeshadow palette. Um, just like the rest of them, it does have the, the born on date on the back here, the expiration date, um, and it is called The Mask by You Can Be. It's actually very interesting <laughs> on the front. When I first saw it, I thought it was like a, um, like a Wookiee <laughs> from Star Wars. Y'all go, no, I'm a nerd. So I'm going to open this. It has the same thing on the front as it does on the, it's more, a little bit more shiny. But it is absolutely gorgeous on the inside. It, ha it does have a mirror. This one and from what I understand um, this is a dupe um, this side is a dupe of the I think like precious metals or something from Huda I'm um, like you know the little like obsessions palette metal obsession maybe and then our precious gems um, but either way this is like sparkly and then this one I believe is a possibly the warm obsession um, something like that but they're both gorgeous I I love this color. I love this color. I don't like this one. <laughs> don't like this one. But I'm I'm loving on these. You know the peachy shades, and I actually like this like taupey, a little bit taupey color. Now this, if you want to buy these separately, you can actually buy these separately. Um, this is called Soar. This whole entire section here is called Soar. This side, and this side is called Rome. So I believe you can buy these separately. I put my lighting down a little bit so you guys can see that color because. I mean, and I'm talking about like a, the Huda palette or the, the the Anastasia. I'm not talking about Natasha Denona. If you Natasha Denona, if you put probably 20 of my palettes together, that would equal <laughs> Natasha Denona price on price tag is. But I mean, this isn't about that. It's just you know, it's beautiful, beautiful makeup on a budget. It really is, and even not on a budget, even not on a budget. You know, you don't have to be on a budget to, to enjoy a, a beautiful brand like this and just get something amazing out of it. So this is the mask palette. So this is in my collection and it took me forever to find it. So you guys have already seen the rhythm palette. It looks like this. It is a Anastasia Beverly Hills dupe for the Prism palette. And the shade names in this, gorgeous. And this is a full close view of the palette. You guys, I don't even have to swatch this one because I just did this one. I'll try to link that up there too. If I don't, I'll put it at the bottom. If I can remember. If I don't remember, you guys remind me and just say, hey, you forgot to link it. You forgot to put it in the cards. And I'll totally do this it. This is the, new, the other um, new palette they have. It's the Ar Aromas or Aromas, whatever you want to call it. This is a the Huda Nude dupe. And I did a, look, I still have the color, ugh, the shade names in here. Um, but I did a video on this as well. And this is gorgeous. I love these palettes so much. This is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. These colors are so pigmented and so beautiful. 
They're just gorgeous. Beautiful. It's a light pink. <laughs> it's gonna be light in my lights, but uh, look at that reflect. Is that not gorgeous? And these actually do have real glitters in them. The two colors in the Huda palette that are glitter are called Excite and Infatuated. And that's these two right here. But these are real glitters. These are actually pressed glitters. And they're gorgeous. You guys know I will not swatch pressed glitter. Just like the Emancipation palette that I got from You Can Be that they sent me. I, I, I've had these forever. There is a one and there is a two. <laughs> this is one and this is two. Um, number one is, these are both Huda dupes. Huda, Huda. This is a dupe for the Desert Dusk. This is the one that has the other pressed glitter in it. And this is just a beautiful palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. I actually have two dupes of the Desert Dusk. This one and the Bad Habit. And I, I don't know which one's my favorite, but um, a friend of mine at work um, does a dance team and they had me do a private um, eyeshadow tutorial on YouTube for them. And it's, it's actually, it's still on YouTube. And it is um, for the dance team and they all bought this palette or they got this palette and they did a beautiful look for their dance routine. It's, um, it's basically like color color guard, like in the bands, like they do flags, batons, all that. So that was a really, really fun and exciting thing. But they did that with this Twilight um, number one. So this is the Desert Dusk dupe by Huda Buddha. And it's the Twilight and Dust palette is what it's called. And then we have the Twilight and Dusk palette number two and these all have 18 shades in them and of course this is the rose gold <laughs> remastered hooded dude so this is beautiful too this this has gotten much love especially on the shimmers so this is these are just beautiful and I love 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 absolutely love these you can be formulas I just or the you can be so formulas. this is my favorite palette of all palettes that you can be has ever made up to date <laughs> and this is the dreamland palette by you can be you guys have seen this on my channel so many times and the reason why i love this palette so much it does have a mirror um is because it is so unique and the colors in here i have i mean there's quite a few colors that i pull out of this palette that i don't have anywhere else in my collection so yeah i've done a live on this this is actually a glitter uh, like a shimmer and it's super, super dark. This is more, I mean, you can definitely make this a summer palette, like with these two rows and with the shimmers, but this is what I like about this one. It's like, it can be used, you know, in the fall and the summer and the spring and the winter. It can be used year round and it is just very unique. It is very unique. This is a very unique color. Um, this actually is a very unique color. If you see it really close up, it really is. It's a very unique color. This is a very unique color. This is a unique type of pink, like a pinky rose, but it's not a rose gold. This is a very interesting shimmer. So if you guys want to see me do another video, these these pinks here are, are definitely different too. If you guys want to see me do an updated video on the Dreamland palette, just let me know down below and I will be happy to do so. Um, otherwise, I will just leave the link down there where you guys can find it. Um, all these things are so priced, priced just amazing. and. I just can't say enough about um, is this you can be um, heaven's hue highlighter it looks like this it's in the shape of a diamond and it looks like this it's gorgeous actually I don't have any highlight on so I've already got myself all flushed so this is like a peachy color this is like um, like a yellowy um, a yellowy highlight color this is more green on the green tone and this is like an opal tone so I'm gonna go into that opal tone I'm just gonna put some on my face. You can use these for eyeshadows too. I've done it. That's why this palette is so messy. I've done it. Look at that. That is so beautiful. And then I'll take the, let's do the green. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love, 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 love this highlighter. You guys, this highlighter is like $5. And this is a Kat Von D um, dupe, I do believe, but it's not Kat Von D. <laughs> so hopefully I will get some more. I'll be able to show them to you guys. Um, it's an eye, lip, and face transformer palette with four holographic shades. Lips. You can use it to put a little bit of 
something something on your lipstick or on your lips by themselves because I don't have anything on my lips right now. But I mean, it's just a really good highlighting palette and I love it. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys tonight is something that came out. Um, I don't know if it just came out. I'm not sure when it came out, but I can tell you guys something right now. When I saw it, I was like, and when I got it in my box or my, on my little envelope, I was so excited. It is called the You Can Be Perfect Lash Volume Mascara. It looks like this. And you guys, it says that the volume mascara lengthens, volumizes, lifts, and curls with just one coat. The ultimate eye enhancer is flexible, and the formula is rich in lash conditioners to nourish each individual lash while coating each hair with long wear smudge resistant pigment. Yes. You guys knew I am a sucker for packaging. Can we just talk about this packaging for just a moment? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we, can we talk about this? How beautiful is this? Look at the crown on top. Isn't that gorgeous? And let's talk about the wand. This is a very interesting wand. It's a swirly, spinny wand. And it does a really amazing job on the lashes. It really does. Look at that. One coat. I mean, it really does. It looks amazing on the lashes, and I absolutely love it. Yes. Thank you, you can be. You have made a beautiful package. You have made a beautiful product, and I am stoked about it. So, this is definitely, definitely, definitely. I do not know the price on this, but I know it is not expensive. Um, you guys, just I will link everything down below. I will. Look at my lashes. For one coat. I mean, I didn't even really take very long at all to do my lashes at all you guys know i would never endorse anything i would never say hey you need to get this if i did not wholeheartedly believe in it and anybody who knows me personally you guys sound off down below <laughs> who know me and know how much i've loved you can be before i even had you know like a channel so you guys already know so sound off and let me know what you think about this video sound off and let me know if you have any you can be i know a lot of you have gotten it look at these beautiful colors you guys oh my gosh Look at this, look at this roof oh. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a bonus to my collection video, so I wanted to get everything kind of knocked out in one video. It's a nighttime video, it's a long video, and I think we're okay with that. So, if you guys made it all the way to the end, thank you so much. I thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, tap subscribe, hit the bell, and I will support you back. You know I will. Let me know what you think about these products. Which palette was your favorite? If you have any, if there's any that you want, um, if there's any that you saw that you that, that I don't have that you that you have, um, and yeah, just just let me know what you think about it. So I will see you guys on my next video. I love you, but I will not argue with you. Thank you, you can be. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Bye, everybody.